Hi everybody, welcome to Tony's Brick House. Today I've got 20 minifigs in front of you. This is from the new Ninjago movie line. Apologize, the bag's a little cut off. Pretty good looking set of minifigs. Never really been into the Ninjago line myself, but some of these I really do like. Some of them I think will work fine if you're doing custom figs. Some I think would be good in a city. So let's get started, and I apologize, I'm probably going to butcher some of these names. As I said, never really got into Ninjago before, so this is new to me. I apologize if I butcher the name of one of your favorite characters. Feel free to leave a comment below and say, hey, you didn't pronounce that right. So, first of all, number one is Garmadon, and again, I'm guessing about that. I really love, I guess, his stick, staff, scepter. Looks pretty good. I like the hat. Does not look happy. Nice printing on the torso. Actually, well, of course he has two torsos, being forearmed. Got a little bit of printing on the back. There's the printing on the lower torso. You know, again, I'm sorry to say, I maybe saw a minute or two of one of the Ninjago cartoons, and uh, I'm taking it that he is a bad guy. All right. Volcano Garmadon. He's got his little snack bowl, maybe some ice cream, who knows. Got a spoon in his hand, he means business. Love the happy look on his face. I'm guessing these are pajamas. No back printing, does have some nice arm printing. And I love this classic helmet. Might see if I can find a couple more of these. Don't know what I'd do with them right off, but I think I'd probably find something. Alright, flashback Garmadon. Got the hairpiece on, sunglasses, big smile on his face. He's got, I don't know, a picture of a volcano with a white picket fence. Uh, maybe that's where he lives. I really don't know. I like the long tie. Again, some pretty decent printing there. Got some stripes on the legs. No printing on the back. Um, Misako, maybe? I like the hair piece. Kind of wish it didn't have the maybe chopsticks through them. Would have made it better for a custom fig or to use in a city. I do like the printing, like the handbag, got the little name tag, you know, she could be anything you possibly needed, a uh, doctor, a vet, you know, just, just a business lady, got a nice smile on her face. Now, I like Master Wu from what little bit I have seen of it, I love the classic hat. The long beard, he's got the skirt on, printing on the feet, got some printing on his back. And he comes with a box of cornflakes. So apparently uh, snacking is very important in this line. Because as you'll see, there's multiple uh, people in here with bowls and spoons. I'm going to guess that this is Kai Kendo. Got two sticks. Don't know if you can see it too well. Nice printing on the legs. You've got your choice of the hair piece or the training helmet. 
kind of a classic look I've seen. You can take the armor off. He does have printing on his torso and some on his back. Kind of a shame it's covered up by the armor, but you know you don't want him to get hurt training. Now this one is a minifig I really like. Lloyd or La Lloyd I saw from the commercial. Love the sword. Got the little tassel hanging on the bottom of it. It's got plans for, I'm believing this is the dragon that he has in one of the sets that's out. You've got your choice. You can have the blonde hair or you can put his Ninja mask or Ninjago mask, I should say, and headgear on him. Looks pretty good. Alright, Jay. Jay's taking a selfie. Got the camera up on the selfie pole. Well, actually, a cell phone. I like the scarf. Nice printing on the legs. It kind of goes with it. No printing on the back or the hands. Or arms, I should say. If you take the scarf off, kind of a nice sweater. Wouldn't be too hard to use this on just, you know, an average person going through their day in your city. Alright, Zane. Got kind of the sweater going. Interesting pattern. Does have printing on the legs. He's got like a mountain climber's backpack. None of these so far have had riding, or a, not riding, but a secondary face. But as I look at Zane, don't know how well you can see it, but I notice he does have a little bit of hair print on the back of his head. Kind of fades down. Got a very happy look on his face. I guess he really likes hiking. Alright, Cole. I like the classic style boombox. Looks like he's got a band t-shirt on. I guess that's whatever riding they have in uh, Ninjago City. I'm guessing tour dates on the back of his shirt. Don't know how well you can see it, but it says sold out. Or at least that's what it looks to me. And 1985 World Tour. So, nice minifig. And again, that was Cole. Not sure if I mentioned it. Alright, next up. Lloyd. Lloyd Garmadon. I guess that's his last name. He's got a bowl and a spoon. I guess he's going to want some of that uh, Master Wu's cereal back there. He has printing on his legs. Kind of a hoodie going on. Again, no printing on the back of his head. Nice little minifig. You could easily make a jogger out of this. Who knows? Alright, this one I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name. Spinjitsu Training Naya? Nia? I think it's Nia. But love the two swords. Love the printing on her torso. Goes down into the legs. Got a very determined look on her face. 
Got some nice printing on the back. I guess that's uh, Master Wu. Got a good hair piece. It's a hard plastic. No alternate face. I guess they generally don't do that a lot for uh, minifig series. But definitely like the swords in this one. This has got to be one of the cutest minifigs I've seen in a long time. The fairy girl from a couple of sets ago may have been a little cuter, but this she looks so happy in Pop Girl. Got her little teddy bear. Got Unikitty on her shirt. She's like blushing. Got such a happy look on her face. The multicolored hair. Her tutu is printed nicely. Got her little stockings on with hearts on her toes. It's got more hearts and stars on her back. Love this minifig. Just absolutely cute. The sushi sushi chef. Yeah, say that like ten times fast. Really like the meat cleaver. Probably gonna head on over to Bricklink at some point in time and try to pick up some extra. Nice printing on his back. Kind of the classic style printing on his front. It's got the two little printed pieces, the sushi roll. Got the larger sushi roll. Nice expression on his face. And I guess you could have any kind of a hat on him you wanted. If you wanted to put him in your city. Gong Guitar rock, Rocker. Okay, probably messed that up. Got a nice print on his guitar. I love the skull and crossbones on his shirt. Nice printing and nice belt. Printing comes all the way down his legs to his feet. Nice long hair. Again, hard plastic. Oh, he has a second face. That's kind of odd. This one, he kind of looks like he's upset. This one kind of mellow. So we're going to leave him kind of mellow. Really wasn't expecting that back there. Didn't notice it when I put him together. Alright, Shark Army General, got a milkshake, slushy, something like that, good printing on her torso and legs, kind of got maybe a worried look on her face, no printing on the back, let's see if she has, nope, no secondary face. The cape is a hard plastic. Don't really know how usable that would be with something else. Not, not a bad minifig. Now you've got a Shark Army Great White. Got a Flaming Fish. I wouldn't mess with somebody carrying a flaming fish. Not very happy looking. Looks like uh, he might be missing a tooth. Although if you notice, looks like he's got a tie on under his jacket. So, you know, why not dress formal if you're uh, going to be, and I'm guessing this is a henchman. But good printing. Good printing on the legs. I like the printing on the arms. Got the scuba tank. Let's see if there's anything on his back. No back printing. Don't really need it. It would just get covered up. I like the uh, shark looking helmet. Not a happy looking camper. Shark army angler. I like the angler fish. If anybody's familiar with it, very cool fish. 
lives in the dark depths of the sea, catches its prey by actually generating light that's on uh, a little line that comes off of their head. The fish down there is kind of mesmerized by the light and the angler gobbles them up. Has a fish with a uh, morning star coming out of it. Wouldn't want to mess with somebody with a fish like that one either. Looks to be, uh, looks like a female. Got a scar on the side of her face. No printing on the back. Kind of a shame she's got that scar. That really wouldn't be a bad face on a mini fig in a city. Not that there's any shame with having a scar. Nice printing on the torso. Goes down into the legs. None on the back. I guess this is a single tank scuba tank. I really do like that mask helmet. That's pretty neat. Alrighty, Shark Army Octopus. It's got a stud gun and just a fish. Seems like something should be coming out of the fish. Got a couple extra studs to shoot. Again, got the single tank. And just pulled the head off. But that's fine. Nice looking printing again on the torso and legs. Nothing on the back of it. Got the one tank. And a head that stuck in the octopus mask. That's actually kind of funny. There we go. Kind of an unhappy face. Got a scar too down the side, almost into the eye. Nothing on the back. This is a rubber piece. And last but not least, the GPL Tech. Love the coffee mug. Got a briefcase. Nice printing on the torso. You can see a little glimpse of a Batman shirt under it. Got glasses on. Kind of a smirk. No printing on the back. Does have the dual molded legs. Like a few of them have. The hair piece is nice. It's a hard plastic. You know, this is a good set. I have to say, though, if I had to pick some favorites, it would definitely be... Definitely be the N-Pop Girl. Let's see. I do like Master Wu. And I just have to say that those are probably my favorite two. Uh, Jay with a selfie stick. Kind of nice. But let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite? Is this a set you would buy? Should I take a look at Ninjago? Should I give it a chance? I mean, I know literally nothing about the series. So, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I have another video. And I hope everybody is safe and has a great day.